Hello and welcome. Today, I'm going through a rather unusual 2015 movie called The Lobster. In a strange dystopian future of what appears to be Ireland, it is illegal to be single, people must have a romantic partner and be with them at all times. Newly single people are brought to a hotel and given just 45 days to find a partner. If they fail, they get turned into an animal of their choice. The movie begins with a woman driving down a road until she arrives at a field with two little donkeys. She gets out of her vehicle and shoots one of them until it's dead. Afterwards we meet David, an architect whose wife has left him for another man. Newly single, David checks into the hotel with his brother, who has been turned into a dog. Whilst checking in at the hotel, David is interviewed. One of the requirements for dating is that they should have a common characteristic. For instance, David is short-sighted, and therefore a short-sighted partner would be compatible. David is taken to his room, where he meets with the hotel manager. She goes through the rules, and then asks him what animal he would like to be if he fails to find a partner. David says he would like to be turned into a lobster since they are fertile and live for over 100 years. He also mentions he's a great swimmer that loves the sea. The hotel manager praises his choice, telling him most people choose to be dogs, which affects the ecosystem. Before leaving, the maid cuffs one of his hands so that he can't pleasure himself, as that goes against the hotel rules. The following morning during breakfast, David becomes acquainted with two men, Robert, who speaks with a lisp, and John, who walks with a limp. They observe three women in the dining area, the heartless woman, who is said to have no emotions, the biscuit woman, who is always seen with a small pack of biscuits, and finally, the nosebleed woman, who suffers with frequent nosebleeds. Later on that day, during an assembly, John is called up to speak. He says that his father left his mother for another woman, and as a result she was turned into a wolf and brought to live in a zoo. He would visit her enclosure until eventually, he climbed in to give her a hug. The other wolves attacked him, leaving him with his limp, but two wolves stayed still. He figured one of them was his mother. The other singles also share their personal experiences. Later on, the singles attended Aunt Sparty to meet one another. David dances with the nosebleed woman, but realizes they don't share a common characteristic. Sometime afterwards they go on a hunt to find loners. Loners are people that ran away from the hotel to avoid being turned into animals. The hunters shoot them with tranquilizers and take them back to be transformed. For each loner they catch, a day is added onto their time to find a partner. The heartless woman is said to be the best hunter due to her cold and feeling nature and is able to catch about 10 loners on a single hunt. David, however, doesn't catch any. Back at the hotel, the men receive moderate sexual stimulation from the maid to keep them interested in finding a partner. One day, the hotel manager finds out that Robert was masturbating. For punishment, she forces him to have his fingers brutally burned in a toaster. On the bus ride to the hunt, the biscuit woman sits next to David. She talks to him, but David shows no interest. She reveals she's going to jump out of her bedroom window if she doesn't find a partner in time. During a swimming session, John bashes his nose and makes it bleed. He lies and says it's a common occurrence to the nosebleed woman. They fall for each other and move to a bigger room. Meanwhile, the biscuit woman jumps out of her window. The heartless woman just sits there watching her in pain. David, desperate with only one week left, approaches the heartless woman and pretends he doesn't care. This works, and they hit it off. One day they are in a jacuzzi together. The heartless woman pretends to choke on an olive from her martini. When David doesn't try to help her, she decides they are a good match. The two are then moved into a bigger bedroom, and given access to couples' exclusive activities, such as tennis, though David must continue pretending to be as heartless as she is. One day they run into John and the nosebleed woman, along with a little girl named Elizabeth, assigned to be their daughter. John tells Elizabeth to give David a kiss, and David responds by kicking her in the shin so she can limp like her dad. After some time has passed, 
the heartless woman begins noticing emotion from David when they're intimate and wants to test him. One morning, with blood on her legs, she tells David she killed his brother by kicking him repeatedly. David pretends to be unmoved, but when he sees his dead brother in the bathroom, he starts crying, and the heartless woman slaps him for lying. She tries taking him to the hotel manager by force, but David manages to knock her out before she can. The maid watches and promises not to say anything. Whilst she's on the floor, David thinks of kicking her to avenge his brother, but instead, with help from the maid, drags her into the transformation room to be turned into an unknown animal. David escapes the hotel and goes into the woods where he meets the loners. The loner leader welcomes David, but tells him that any romantic interaction is forbidden and is punishable. David sees one man with bandages on his mouth. He is told that the man was given the red kiss, in which he had his lips cut off, along with the woman he was seeing, and they were forced to kiss each other. The worst punishment is said to be the red intercourse, which one can only imagine how ghastly it must be. Whilst staying with the loners, David falls for the short-sighted woman. He wins her over by catching and killing rabbits, and then cooking them in a specific way to her liking. One day, when the hotel guests are on the hunt, Robert catches David. David tries to convince Robert not to take him, but Robert is desperate, with just two days left. The short-sighted woman attacks him from behind. During this time, it's revealed that the maid is working with the loner leader, revealing information from the hotel. The maid is unhappy with her husband, but doesn't want to leave him, as she'll then be forced to become a guest of the hotel. So they set up a plan to attack. Each month, two loners, pretending to be a couple, go into the city to get food and supplies. This time the leader and her partner take David and the short-sighted woman with them. After a few days, the loners get ready to attack the hotel. That night, they sneak in with help from the maid and hold the manager and her husband hostage. The husband is given the choice to shoot his wife to save his own. He does so without hesitation. However, it turns out the gun is unloaded and it was just a test to show there's no love in their relationship. Whilst this is happening, David visits John and the nosebleed woman, telling her John is faking the nosebleed. The loners leave immediately and return to the woods with the maid joining their group. David becomes closer with the short-sighted woman. They even plan to escape from the group. The leader finds out what's happening after going through her diary, furious with their betrayal but doesn't let them know. A few days later, she takes the short-sighted woman into the city, saying she'll fix her eyesight, but instead cruelly turns her blind. When they return to the woods, she soon realizes her sight isn't coming back. Filled with anger, she tries to kill the leader, but instead kills the maid. Afterwards, she goes to David. Scared he'll leave her, she tries to hide the fact that she's blind before eventually letting him know what happened. David wants to stay with her and helps her out with her other senses such as touch and smell. They try to find other common traits between them but are unsuccessful. David suggests they kill the leader and escape from the woods. Soon after, David kidnaps the leader and throws her into an open grave, shortly to be attacked by wild dogs. Meanwhile David and the short-sighted woman dress up and escape the woods. They stop off at a diner. David reveals to her that he's going to blind himself. Moments later, he asks the waiter for a knife. David goes to the restroom. And as he's about to do it, he stops midway. The movie cuts to the short-sighted woman before the credits roll. Do you think he did it? And if he did, was it out of love or just to share a superficial trait? Let me know what you think. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.